Hey everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft news video. I haven't done one of these in a while, guys. Very, very exciting. We've got a lot of news in the community coming from E3, which is a gigantic gaming conference that happens every year. Basically, it's the front runner for conferences, for news, and everything like that relating to anything in the gaming industry. And we've got some Minecraft news that came out yesterday. So, very exciting. We've got a lot to cover. Um, if you guys enjoy Minecraft news and you want to see more, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. We should probably go ahead and get started because we do have a lot to talk about, so let's do that now. Alright guys, so to get started, let's talk about cross-platform gameplay. Now, I feel like I should give you a fair warning on this. There is no PC news to be had. Uh, <laughs> to be kind of quite frank about it, I feel like we kind of got shit on, like, as a PC community. Um, and you'll like, see why at the end of the video. So anyways, to get started, um, the Better Together update was announced at E3 uh, during the Microsoft conference. And this is um, this is a update coming to Minecraft that includes a lot of different things. The first thing we're going to be talking about with the Better Together update is a cross-platform gameplay. So the, everything that we're going to be talking about today is based around Windows 10 pretty much. Uh, to, so to start off with, uh, cross-platform gameplay is going to include Windows 10, iOS, Android, Xbox, uh, Xbox One, um, maybe Xbox Scorpio, I think, or X, Xbox One X, I think is what they called it, uh, the Nintendo Switch, and the all VR devices. So what they're trying to do is they are trying to update the game in a manner that all of these will be on the same gameplay page and you guys can play together. Now, this will not have anything to do with the PC version of Minecraft. You're still going to have to use the Windows 10 store to get the game. One thing I should say to you is that if you already own the game on Windows 10, Nintendo Switch, uh, or any of these other devices, the game will update for free for you, as always, and eventually you will be able to play together. Um, now, obviously... We didn't see PS4 in that list. <laughs> I wonder why. No, um, obviously PS4 was excluded from this because it's a Windows game now. It's a Microsoft game. Um, now, as much as I hate saying not saying anything about the PC, because that's that's where our roots are. You know, this is a cool update. This brings a lot of people together. So I'm pretty happy to see this. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think, though. I would love to hear your, you know, your things. So um, let's go ahead and move on. Next up, let's go ahead and talk about the super duper graphics pack. Essentially shaders. <laughs> no, it's, it's a little bit more than that, but uh, all of those devices that we had talked about will be getting updates. Um, now, obviously, you're not going to see a huge update on the smaller devices, but things like the um, Xbox, uh, the Nintendo Switch, you're going to see pretty good updates for. So the super duper graphics pack is uh, basically a 4K update. Now, this comes along with things like um, in, improved lighting, shadows, uh, water effects. It's it's giving it a it's a much, much better update. Um, and one of the cool things about this is now this is a DLC. You got to remember. So you're probably going to have to pay for it. Um, but um, on the Project Scorpio, which is now the Xbox One X, dynamic shadows, lightings, Leaf movement, grass, new textures for mobs and villagers, directional lighting, edge hedge lighting. Uh, all of that is going to be on high-end PCs and Windows 10 for Xbox One and the, the PC version. So there's like um, essentially the free the free update is 4K, but you will probably have to pay uh, for the DLC for that. I'm not exactly sure because they didn't really announce it very well. Like I watched the conference, but they didn't say a lot. Um, the On the website, they announced it as DLC. So I'm assuming you might have to pay for it all. Um, the one thing I know that will be free though for 100% free is that it says the 4K update will be free, but I'm pretty sure the additional shader stuff you're most likely going to have to pay for. So let's get one thing straight really, really quickly. If you're playing on a console and you think that, oh my God, 4K is going to be amazing, you're wrong. <laughs> Same, Windows 10 might be a little bit better because it's a PC, but anything on a console is going to just look like Minecraft. It might run, it's, honestly, it might even be laggy because I don't see how 
Unless they have some miracle, well, you know, shader pack that's going to make it run smoothly or something, but yeah. Um, so 4K update coming. I, I guess that's kind of exciting for all you people that play on those consoles. But once again, nothing for the PC. So <laughs> anyways, let's go to move on. All right, guys, let's go ahead and talk about the final piece of news that's coming out of the E3 updates. I, um, I don't really care about this one too much. This one is, uh, there's going to be a server menu, which we already have on PC, um, that will link servers in the Xbox, like Windows 10 edition and things like that. Uh, and the four starting servers will be Lifeboat, Mindplex, NVVP, PVP, and Cubecraft. Now, for those servers, congratulations, because that's like the world's best advertising. You have millions and millions of players on those devices, and you just got like the world's best advertising. You're going to have millions of players on your server. Like, that's awesome. Um, I'm assuming these servers were chosen because they probably follow the Eula a little bit better than everybody else. They're a little bit more family friendly, easier to play. Mindplex is a really fun time. I like that one. So... There will be direct connection stuff for the servers coming out. Other than that, though, that really was all that was it. Um, now, one other thing that I, I finally can mention is that Minecraft got an update. No, um, Minecraft PC edition is now called Minecraft Java edition. So, woo, lucky us, you know, they care about us. No, <laughs> anyways, guys, I think that's probably going to do it for this update. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button or dislike for the, the news. Who cares? Anyways, this is iJevin. Peace out.